Hey guys, it's Matt again. Today I'm going to show you how to make a slime blower for your Ghostbusters minifigures. Now, you should have proton packs if you have the minifigures already. I've added a couple extra pieces just for details on some of mine, just for the looks. So you kind of have an idea of the, how big those are compared to the minifigures. So I wanted to have something that was similar in size, but we needed slime blowers for Ray and Winston for Ghostbusters too. So since LEGO hasn't come out with those yet, I decided to make my own a couple of years ago and just getting around to it now to show you how to make one of your own if you would like. So let's get our Proton Pack Ghostbusters out of the way. And here's Ray as our example, and I'm going to build a slime blower for Winston. So here in front of you, you see all the pieces that you will need to make a slime blower. So for the main piece, you may not have one like this, and at one point I only had one, and so I created something similar in a piece like this. So remove that. So we have a one by one plate connected to a one by one that has a stud on this side and an opening on this side. The opening is important. You need that so that it'll connect to the back of the Ghostbuster there on the neck bracket. And then as long as you have a place to connect on the top on this one by one and two holes because you need to go in through both sides then you can be able to, to make that work. And it doesn't fit quite as good. There's a little empty space there. So that's why I prefer to go with these. I got more of those. So ended up going with this one for both. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and put the plate on the front. On top you are going to have this piece which is just a lever piece without the actual black lever inside of it. So you need that rounded part for the top. Then on either side you're going to put these T-shaped pins. Sorry if I'm out of the frame. So let's set that down. Knock it down for a minute. Then on these two hooks, I'm sorry, not hooks. We will add these white lights. Or these clear studs, excuse me. And those are going to attach to the top to be our lights on either side of the head. Below that we're going to add our two green cylinders. That's why we have this T-shaped piece. I'm going to scoot it out a little bit. There we go. So those go on both sides. Try to keep it even. Then on both sides you're going to put a one by one plate and then on the right side you're going to add a gold one by one a stud there but not on the left side because on the left side we're going to take this piece and add a brown stud to the top of it and that's going to connect sideways to the bottom See how it looks there? Because that's where this piece is going to connect. This is one you might have trouble sourcing unless you have the collectible minifigures welder. That's where this came from. This is his little torch. And it connects to the little canister that comes with him. From then you just add the 
cone to the cylinder and then add this pin to the bottom and that connects to the torch leave a little bit sticking out there because that's where the minifigure is going to grasp it and then this one by one stud goes on the bottom half and that's where it's going to connect to your minifigure's neck bracket. You need that there so you have space between the hairpiece and the actual slime blower. So sometimes they kind of pop off and like to break loose. Well, hopefully it won't do it here. That's in his hand. And there you go. That's how you make a slime blower for your Ghostbusters minifigures. It's slime time. Keep busting, guys.